there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. I'm sorry it's been a week since the last video, a lot's been happening, a lot has been happening in my life, but I've got the time to record some videos. So, before we get started into this particular news, which is looking at the latest land clearing at Dollywood, please do like the video if you loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, also make sure you go in the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, let's have a look at the Dollywood land clearing for 2023. Let's do this. So land clearing has been taking place uh, for the 2023 project. Now, those of you who don't know what it is and what it's for, uh, this is all for their brand new roller coaster, which is an expansion to Wildwood Grove. Now, obviously, uh, this is a very exciting project. Now, what we're probably looking at here from uh, from previous leaked layouts is a family launch, multi-launch roller coaster. Um, you know, I think there's there's some no limits recreation out there. Uh, from the plans or based on the plans. So we're looking here at probably an intimate multi-family launch roller coaster themed to Wildwood Grove as an expansion to the Wildwood Grove area. Now, uh, in terms of name and colour scheme, we, we won't know that for sure yet until we uh, start getting the track on site. Uh, but to give you guys a little bit of history, what is Wildwood Grove? If you're sat there behind the camera thinking, what the hell is Wildwood Grove Coaster Gel? Well, I'm going to give you that right now. The highly themed land, Wildwood Grove, according to the Dollywood website, is a step out of the reality and into the unknown. Beyond an ancient hollow log and a hidden, into a hidden land, Wildwood Grove beckons the explorer in all of us. Let curiosity be your guide as your journey even deeper, past sparkling creeks, through a charming village, and under the mighty limbs of the great Wildwood tree. This is where adventure takes root and dreams take flight. Now, of course, you've got the Wildwood Tree, uh, Wildwood Creek. Uh, you've also got the Hidden Hollow, which is a secret play area. Now, in terms of the rides and attractions you've got here, you've got the Black Bear Trail. You've got the Dragon Flyer, which is a Vacoma suspended family coaster. Uh, you've got Frogs and Fireflies, which is a nice little bouncy attraction. Black Bear Trail, by the way, is like a George's Dinosaur Adventure, Peppa Pig World, sort of like one of those sort of uh, tracked rides, or sort of tracked... Uh, Tracked slow moving rides. Uh, you got the Great Tree Swing, which is your classic pirate ship attraction. You got the Mad Mockingbird, which is of course the uh, Flying Scooters attraction. You got Treetop Tower, which is like Diego's Rainforest Rescue at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So that's very much a uh, sort of high in the sky balloon ride type of uh, adventure attraction. You also got shops at uh, the shop uh, Mountain Grove Merchants. You've also got a restaurant called the Till and Harvest. Uh, you can also meet characters like Benjamin Bear, the Wild Roots Band, and Flit and Flutter, uh, the epitome of beauty and grace. So, that is a little bit on Wildwood Grove. It only came into the resort a couple of years ago, a good few years ago now, actually. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to believe it's been a few years since Wildwood Grove first opened, isn't it? It's, um, you know, it makes you think how time is really, you know, flown by. It opened on the 10th of May 2019, so we're talking a good few years here. We're talking nearly, nearly, three, uh, nearly three years to the day. Um, so, you know, three years of Wildwood Grove. Now we're expecting this expansion for 2023 in its fourth year. And, uh, you know, the, the area will sort of all celebrate together in a couple of years for its fifth birthday in, uh, in 2024. So Dollywood really making a stance here. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on all this. A little bit of history around the rumours surrounding the future expansion of Wildwood Grove. And also what I think to this ultimate decision. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill 6 of all ages. That is speaking about Wildwood Grove expansion for 2023. Now, first of all, I haven't spoken on the land clearing yet. The land clearing pitch, as you, as you saw on the screen, definitely look interesting. It's nice to see groundwork starts. Not a lot to say about it, but what we can say is it's nice to see some groundwork starting straight away. Now, of course, in terms of the history of the rumours of the future expansion of Wildwood Grove, it's a very interesting history. Now, of course, originally we had rumours of 
uh, a dark ride, a Wild Wood Grove dark ride, then a brand new coaster for somewhere else in the park. One of the main rumoured sites at the time a couple of years back with Mountain Sidewinder, which had just closed and, uh, and announced its closure. Uh, I've done a video on that. It was a massive hit on the channel. Thousands of views, so thank you very much for that. Uh, when Mountain Sidewinder officially closed. Loads of you sharing your memories in the comments down below of that video. Uh, of, of Mountain Sidewinder and if you do still have memories of that attraction go in the comment section of this video and that video and any Dollywood video and share them uh, but obviously like I said Mountain Sidewinder classic attraction that was one of the big rumoured sites for a new coaster uh, like I said the rumour a couple of years ago at the time was a Dark Ride at Wildwood Grove, then there was a choice of three, the Indoor Coaster, the Hyper Coaster, or the Extreme Spinning Coaster, and um, and yeah, so we don't know if that's still going to happen, I think the three coasters it could be in question still in the future, uh, but at least for now for Dollywood it will be a family launch roller coaster, a multi-launch family roller coaster. Now from the No Limits creation that I've seen on YouTube, or many of the No Limits creations, we're not going to expect a normal train. It's going to be the similar style trains, in my opinion, to Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. I think that's the kind of trains we're looking at here, um, unless I'm mistaken. But I personally think that we're going to look at Hagrid style trains. And uh, so you look at the motorbike style kind of thing. Whether they do a sidecar or, side or not, I'm not too sure. Uh, but overall, we're looking at that style of train, but we are looking at that style of roller coaster. Definitely just look at that style of roller coaster, which is a different train, the similar train to Hagrid, uh, in my opinion. I think the choice to either spinning or motorbike, I think we're going to go for a Hagrid star rather than a, a Max Spinner type car or something like that, or you know, even use some of the Intamin spinners, for example. I don't think we're going to use a spinning car as an example. I think it will be a Hagrid style car or train for this coaster, and it will be the family launch that we go for uh, from the plan. So I feel like. You know, it's pretty nailed on what type of coaster it is. I think we are expecting the motorbike trains, and you know, it should be interesting to see what backstory they go with this coaster. I think it's been very interesting to see what they go with. Uh, but there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. I hope the video was worth the wait. And for now, I am Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Dollywood-tastic day.